Well, Superflow have got Dino sorted, and we're down here at SEMA for 2010 talking to Mike Giles about just that. Let's talk about the Auto Dyn 30 that's on display down here. Well, uh, we brought in the all-wheel drive version. It's um, rated for about 1,500 horsepower peak absorption and um, 850 horsepower loaded absorption with the eddy currents. For the system linked uh, via drive shaft so that the front and rear rolls are always spin at the same speed. That way you don't um, damage differentials on all-wheel drive cars. We also offer an eddy current for um, loaded testing. You can do inertia and loaded testing. Uh, the the Autodyne 30 has got 30 inch diameter rolls. Uh, that way you get a big contact patch and good traction. And then we've got a whole host of accessories for measuring um, air fuel, temperature, pressure, OBD2, and all of that can be integrated into our software. Uh, so you can read it and graph it and uh, display it during and after the test for analysis. There's a few dynos on the market. Why would we choose Superfly? Well, I think uh, we try and differentiate ourselves on the mechanical features. You know, the drive shaft is a big uh, factor. If you're not spinning the rolls at the same speed, you're going to cause damage to uh, all-wheel drive cars. Or same thing on a two-wheel. Some of the newer two-wheel drive cars, even though even though they're two-wheel drive, you've got to have the front wheel spinning, or the car thinks it's losing traction and it tries to compensate. So you get um, poor numbers on the dyno. Also, the big rolls, um, you get good traction. Cradle roll systems will deflect the tire in two places, and that puts a lot of heat into the tire, which equates to horsepower that's not measured by the dyno. The all-wheel drive model uses differentials in each roll set, so we can actually measure the torque split on the front roll set and the rear roll set. So it's important on uh, all-wheel drive cars to be able to tune for drivability with that. Now, this one can be used above ground or below ground, yeah? That's right. We can, you can put it in a pit, or we can sell uh, an aluminum ramp kit or a four-post lift, and um, it really doesn't make any difference to us. It's all uh, customer preference. Well, let's talk about the controller that's on display here because that's fairly new. Yeah, we came out with a new software-based control system. It's called NetDyne. It's all the same functionality as our um, previous handheld, but uh, it runs wirelessly on a, a computer, or PC, laptop. It's customer preference. We spec it to run on a touchscreen netbook, um, so it's real small and portable. It's easy to use in the car. One advantage is it doesn't tie our system to any specific tuning software. You can run the dyno and also on the same machine, uh, the tuning software of your choice. All right, well, it looks like they've got everything sorted down here at Superflow. If you want to find out any more information about what we've talked about today, just head to their website, superflow.com. Thanks very much, Mike. Thank you.